Hello everyone. All well? I hope you have revised the method of division properly. Then you must have completed exercise 4.12. Right? Great. Now let's move towards the next topic and continue learning lesson 4 division further. Okay? Let us begin today's session. I hope you all remember the estimation method that we used in the previous operations to get a round off number and make the calculations easier. For estimating the quotients, we have to follow two simple steps. First is round off the dividend and divisor. The second is divide the rounded off figures. This makes the calculations very quick and easy. Let's try. In exercise 4.2, we have the same heading estimating the quotients. The first sum is 6385 divided by 27. As I told you, the first step is round off dividend and divisor. The dividend is 6385. When we round it off, we get 6390, 6390. Similarly, when we round off the divisor, we get 30. 27 becomes 30. Now, step 2 is divide the rounded off figures. So, we will divide 6390 by 30. That's so easy. How? When the last digits are 0, we can cut off the zeros and forget that they even exist. Okay? Now we just have to divide 639 by 3. Okay? So the numbers become small and the division will be quick. We'll divide the first digit. 3, 2, 6. Subtract 0. We bring 3 down. 3, 1, 3. Subtract 0. We'll bring 9 down. 3, 3, 9. Subtract. Remainder is 0. So over here, when we divide 6390 by 30, our estimated quotient will be 230. So, our estimated quotient will be 230. Easy? I hope you found it very easy. Now, let's try one problem sum related to this. Okay? There are 19 students in a class. A teacher distributes 122 pencils among the students. Estimate the number of pencils each child gets. Our statements will go like Estimated number of students. Why estimated? Because in question there is the word estimate the number of pencils. So this is not a regular problem sum. Over here we have to estimate the number of pencils. We will round off both the numbers. And then we will divide. So first statement is estimated number of students. 19 is equivalent to 20. 19 will be rounded off to 20. Second statement estimated number of pencils is equal to 122 which is equivalent to 120. Now estimated number of pencils each child gets is equal to 120 divided by 20. Right? So, let's start dividing 120 by 20. As I told you earlier, forget that the two zeros exist. This can be done only when the last 
digits of both divisor and dividend are zero you cannot cut off the zero if both do not contain zero at the end okay so now we have to divide 12 by 2 as you know first digit is smaller we will use both the digits so 12 divided by 2 2 6 are 12 subtract remainder is 0 so each child gets 6 pencils approximately right easy now try the remaining exercise on your own estimate the quotients you know how to round off dividend and divisor and find the quotients quickly also solve this story sum remember this story sum is talking about the cost don't forget to use the sign of rupees in your answer okay all the best now let's learn about some properties of division first division by one when any given number is divided by one we get the same number as the quotient for example 4284 when divided by one gives 4284 the same number easy now let's read the next one division by number itself when any number is divided by the number itself that is when the dividend and the divisor are same we get one as the quotient okay for example 4284 divided by 4284 gives one division for zero whenever zero is divided by any given number the answer is always zero okay zero divided by 4284 gives zero any number dividing zero gives zero but division by zero it's not possible zero can never be a divisor okay great on the basis of these properties let us start solving exercise 4.3 the heading is fill in the blanks first one says 2421 divided by 1 gives as we all know any number divided by 1 gives the number itself which is 2421 correct great now 5641 divided by 5641 when divisor and dividend are same the answer is always 1 next 2825 divided by dash gives us 2825 when the dividend and quotient are same the divisor is 1 because we get same number as the answer when the divisor is 1 when we divide a number by 1 right great now dash divided by 1 gives answer 9274 whenever the divisor is 1 the quotient and the dividend are same right now 9175 divided by dash gives 1 the answer is 1 when both dividend and divisor are same so here divisor will be 9175 and dash divided by 1743 is equal to 0 when the answer is 0 dividend is also 0 because 0 divided by any number gives 0. Correct? Great. Now you know how to apply these rules in your calculations to make them easier and faster. Right? Now let's learn about division by 10, 100 and 1000. Trust me this is really very very easy and very quick. How? 
let me show you the dividend is 6000 when we have to divide 6000 by 10 just hide last digit and that will be your quotient 10 has one zero so you have to hide one digit of the dividend and that will be your quotient now which digit do you have to hide the last one the one at ones place okay the digit that you hid becomes your remainder okay is this easy so whenever 6000 is divided by 10 we will hide the last digit this will be our quotient and the digit that was hidden is our remainder similarly when you have to divide a number by 100 you have to hide last two digits a hundred has two zeros so we will hide last two digits the remaining number becomes your quotient and the digits that you hit becomes your remainder easy now let's see how to divide a number by thousand how many zeros are there in thousand three zeros so we have to hide three digits the digits at ones tens and hundreds place will be hidden now the digit which remains become the quotient and the digits that we hid earlier becomes the remainder so simple right now let's try one more let's divide 1357 by 10 first 10 has one zero so how many digits will you hide last one digit the quotient is 135 and the remainder is 7 when we divide this number by 100 we will hide two digits the quotient is 13 and the remainder is 57 when we divide this by 1000 we will hide three digits the quotient remains 1 and the remainder is 357 easy isn't it now I'm sure you can solve exercise 4.4 let's start with the first one 1368 divided by 10 one zero that's why we'll hide one digit the quotient is 136 and the remainder is the digit that we hid that is it right now let's solve c1 2218 divided by 100 we will hide the last two digits the quotient is 22 and the remainder is 18 easy let's try f1 65407 divided by 1000 we will hide last three digits the quotient remains 65 and the remainder is 407 easy now let's go towards the next heading 480 divided by 10 we have to follow the same steps hide last digit the remaining digits are quotient the digit that we hid was remainder now let's solve some c 1200 divided by 100 two zeros that's why we'll hide two digits the quotient is 12 the remainder zero zero 50,000 divided by 1000 we will hide three digits quotient is 50 the remainder 000, zero, zero. you can also write one zero only now let's solve this one fill in the blanks be careful this one is tricky let's solve 96,000 divided by 10 we'll hide the last digit answer is 9600 zero, zero great now 27,000 divided by dash is 30 over here 
be careful we have one zero over here we'll hide this okay now we have to divide 2700 that is 2700 by 3 okay okay let's solve the sum over here this is the rough works part okay so 2700 divided by 3 3 nines are 27 we'll bring 0 down 0 goes up again we, when we brought 0 down 1 0 up because these numbers cannot be divided so 900 is the answer I'll repeat my steps there was 1 0 in the answer so we hit this 0 and we divided 2700 which, which are the remaining digits by 3. Okay? The answer is 900. This means that we will do division if we have to find the quotient. Again, we will do division when we have to find the divisor. In both these cases, we followed division. But, whenever we have to find the dividend, we have to multiply the divisor and quotient. Okay? Over here, as we can see, we have to find the dividend. In this case, we will multiply the given two numbers. So, over here, we will multiply 5000 by 11. Again, instead of doing the sum over here, I will go for oral multiplication. How? Whenever there are zeros in the end, we will write down zeros over here. Okay? Last three digits will remain zero only. Now we just have to multiply 5 and 11. 11 fives are 55. We learnt this last year. Right? I hope you remember that if the, di that if the number ends with zeros in the end, we have to multiply it orally to do the sum quickly. Okay? Now let's go to the next one. 49,000 divided by 7,000. We have to find the quotient. Last three digits are zeros. We will hide the last three digits as it is. Then we will multiply the remaining digits with 7. 49 divided by 7. As we know 7 sevens are 49. So, 7 is the answer. Right? Great. To find the quotient or the divisor, we have to divide. But, to find the dividend, we have to multiply the given numbers. Okay? Remember this. Let us solve two more. 1,80,000 divided by dash gives 300. Again, we have to find the divisor. So, we will use division technique. Last two digits 0. We will hide the last two digits. We will divide the remaining digits with 3. So, 1, 8, 0, 0 divided by 3. 3, 6, 18. When we subtract, we get 0 as remainder. When 0 comes down, number cannot be divided. 1, 0 in the quotient. Again, the same process. The answer is 600. Easy? Now, 15,000 divided by 50. We have to find the quotient. Last digit 0. Hide. Divide the remaining digits by 5. We can do this orally too. 5, 3 is a 15. And 2 zeros. Answer is 300. Now it's time to try the remaining sums of exercise 4.4 on your own. We solved sum A, sum C, sum F of the first heading. Now you have to solve the remaining. Similarly with the second heading. All the best.